I've practiced, I've never done this before, but now it's time to go for record and repair the damage like this ground down section here on the bow of my kayak. So, let's see how I do this week on kayak. I completed my practice and now I'm working on the back of my kayak where it's been ground down by scraping against any number of concrete bolt launches. Uh, sorry I didn't start the video earlier. This is the first time I've done this. That's why I did the practice and I would really appreciate any comments from those experts on what I'm doing. So if I'm doing it wrong, uh, anyone looking at this can read the comments and see how to do it right. So there are a couple lessons learned I've got so far. Uh, basically I used the thick welding rods that came with my KC welder to lay down this red base. I uh, sanded it down a little bit to expose some new plastic before I did this. Now what I've done is I've got one of these stainless steel meshes. I've cut off a piece and I've embedded that in the HTPE right here and now I'm in the process of filling in over it. You can see here where uh, you can still see some of the metal. Now the one thing I've learned in doing this is that when you put the rods in you, you should not go very fast and I'll show you what happens when you do. So if you go fast See, it'll lay down the plastic, but it's going to then come up. So you have to go very slowly and patiently as you do this. And what I'll do is, I've got to turn this around now because I pulled it out, is I'll do that as I fill in around this stainless steel mesh and lay down a good base of plastic. Now I know that this is going to look kind of rough and eventually you get the sander and you can sand over it to make the uh, pretty and smooth lay down that you may want but right now I think it's all about getting the layer of HDPE on top of this steel mesh then what I'm going to do next since I've seen it so much on YouTube and just am curious as to whether it's going to work or not is I will take a piece of a milk carton here and I'll stick this on top and we'll see how that works. You know that way if it doesn't uh, you don't end up making the same mistake that I do and it's just my kayak that gets a little bit messed up and not yours. So you can see here that now I've got a lot of this down I think what I've got to do is slowly, slowly, slowly blend it in and melt it in where it's joining up with the original material on my native kayak. So I'll keep at this and then we can check in here in a little bit before I put the melt carton on. Again, just to see if it works, I've started here on this piece of a melt carton which is HDPE and I'm gently tacking it down on the side here and then I will complete the melt as I fold it over. Uh, one thing I've already learned is that you can't go fast with this and you, after you tack it you gotta give it a chance to dry out a little bit and adhere otherwise you just melt the whole thing. Turn it over and I'll tack this side. Now I guess what I'll do now is I'll take the heat gun and I'll just kind of melt it from the top and see what that does. And hopefully it gives me a nice melted uh, surface over the top of this wire mesh. Okay, here's the theory that I've got is that once I put heat on this, it's going to contract and adhere to 
to my patch. Well that actually seemed to work pretty well. What I'll do now is I'll go over it with the welding rod and make sure that there's no air bubbles in here and that the milk carton HDPE has been fully melted. So maybe that idea works out okay. Won't really know until after I let this cool off and then I'll poke at it a little bit to make sure that this milk carton patch is not loose anywhere. But one thing that it looks like it's done for me is that it's given me kind of a smooth surface to work at from here on. Now one thing I gotta be careful of is not building this up too much and uh, making too much of a, uh, a thin here because it I just need to duplicate the original construction. One thing I'm learning here is you need to, once you get a good layer on, you need to let it cool off and harden a little bit uh, before you go and start putting the next one on. Otherwise, you just get a big melted mess. So I'm going to give this a couple minutes, and I want to lay down the nice color across the top here. Okay, ready to start with the welding rod that Hobie gave me with this welder. I'm going to put it on here very very slowly to build up the side you can see how nice and smooth it goes on if you take your time one thing that I think I've learned here is that it's kinda nice to take the heat gun and heat in conjunction with the tip to get out all the the bumps and things like that that you would otherwise have to smooth out with sanding. Also, uh, you want to be able to fill in all these cracks with good plastic. So, Well, it's looking pretty good. I think this is about as good as I can get it with the welding tips. I've reconstructed the back of this kayak and I've got some metal in there so I think it's going to last. So the next step the next step is to go ahead and sand it down a little bit to get it cleaned up. But I'm pretty happy with the way my first effort at plastic welding turned out. Okay, now it's time to sand. I got some duct tape here to protect my existing kayak from scratches. And it's just a matter of getting this down as much as I really want to. It doesn't need to be a work of art, but I would like it to be smooth. Okay, I'm done sanding. I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun here one more time to fill in any small cracks, but I don't really want to change anything else. All done. Not that bad for my first shot at doing this. I'm sure there's things that I could do to improve and welcome any comments. So good luck if you have to do this on your own kayak. I'm comfortable that this thing will last another couple seasons, especially with that piece of metal screen embedded down in here. At least it won't get as bad as it was. So take care.